Hello viewers, hope you're doing well. Today in this video, I'm going to create an API to show cards to the customer. So let's get started. So you can see here the Spring Boot application in the services package. I'm going to create a new package that is a customer. And here I'm going to create a new interface that is a customer service. And it will be a interface. In this package, I'm going to create a new class that is a customer service impulse. And we need to implement this class with customer service. And here I'm going to annotate this class with at the rate service annotation. And here I'm going to inject our repository. Let me add with annotation that is a at the rate required ERGS constructor. So let's go to our controller and here I'm going to create a new class for customer controller. So let me add here the annotation that is at the rate rest controller at the rate request mapping where I'm going to add the URL of this controller that is a slash API slash customer. And after that, I'm going to add here the third annotation that is at the rate required ERGS constructor. So let me inject here customer service. So here I'm going to create a new method and the return type of this method that is a list of card DTO. So let me remove this and let's import this list from java.util. And here we need to add the name of the method that is a get all cards. So let's go to our customer service impl and here I'm going to implement this method. And here we need to return car repository dot find all dot stream dot map. In the map, we need to pass here entity and second, we need to pass here get car DTO. And let me add here dot collect. That is our collectors dot to list. And let's go to our customer controller and here we will create an endpoint to call method from our customer service. So it will be a public and the response entity over here, I'm going to add and the return type of this method that is a list and it will be a card DTO. Let me import this list from java.util and name of the method that is a get all cards. And here we need to call customer service dot get all cards method. And here I'm going to create an object of a car DTO. And it will be a car DTO list. So here I'm going to return response entity dot OK. And in the argument, I'm going to pass here car DTO list. So here I'm going to add annotation that is at the rate get mapping. And the URL of this API that is a slash cars. So let's run the application. And you can see application started. Let's go to our Angular project and call this API from Angular. So you can see the customer module. Let's go to our customer service and here I'm going to inject private http and it will be a from http client so let's go to our 
admin service and here i'm going to copy this basic url let me add here on the top and i'm going to copy this method that is a get all cars let me add in the customer service let's import this observable from rxjs and let me copy this method to get the token from our local storage let me import this from like the rate angular slash common slash http okay so here we need to pass the url of the api that is a slash api slash customer slash cars so let's go to our customer dashboard and here i'm going to add constructor where we will inject our customer service and it will be a from customer service let me add here the curly braces so let's go to our admin dashboard and i'm going to copy this let me add after that so here we need to call method from our customer service let me copy this variable and let me add here okay so let's go to our ui and let's check we are getting the results let's go to our ui and let's register the new customer so here i'm going to add email let me add the password and the confirm password and the name let's click on this register button and you can see sign up successful and you can see it's navigating us to customer dashboard and you can see we are getting the data from the backend let's show this car in the dashboard so let's go to our admin dashboard component.html and let me copy all the code let me paste here and let me copy the styling and let me paste here so you can see the properties for the styling and you can see the code for the html so i'm going to remove this div customer dashboard component.html because we don't need to show this button to the customer customer can only book the car so let's go to our ui and you can see the cars so let me refresh the component again so that's all for now from my side i hope you like this video if you have any confusion you can do comment and also subscribe to my channel for more videos and hit the bell icon thanks for watching take care bye